Hey, hey, who's cooking? Doctor, who's cooking? Doctor, who's cooking? Okay, something went weird. Oh, that's what it is. I have the stream open in the background. Let's stop that. There we go. And let's, uh, boom, boom. Hey, there we who's go. cooking? Doc, who's cooking? Doctor Who's cooking something up with meat. So make a food, baby. A shit the pant, baby. We could make another cussing recipe. We got a hot pot of beans and an order to fill. And I know Beach Space ain't got any chill. So tell you it's only pop and spicy for me. If you want to learn good knobs and hang around and see, say, hey, who's cooking? Doctor who's cooking? Doctor who's cooking something up for thee? Hand eggplant. There we go. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Um, alrighty. So, I'm gonna get started with some potatoes. These are not the best. These are the leftover golden potatoes that I got from, uh, from a couple of recipes ago. Um, I cut out some of the eyes and mushy bits already. Um, Bill... They'll cook up just fine. Gonna rinse them off. Going to... Put some uh, holes in them. But there's already holes in there. But what if I didn't do what I just did to them? And I'm going to wrap them... in some foil because I do foil baked potatoes or at least that's what uh, that's what my family does I can probably just do that hello diggy How's the Beeple people doing? Did you guys behave with that guy's stream last night? It really does depend on the size of the potato. I just do it regardless. It, it, generally for like bigger potatoes like russets or yukons, you, you just do it. These you could probably get away with, but yes, yes, I did poke the potatoes. All right, so once my oven gets up to 400, I'll put those in. Um, and here I have a nice sirloin that I will do some unwrapping with in a little bit. Hot meat, uh, hot meat unwrapping. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna get some onions going to uh, caramelize. Cause I like me some caramelized onions with my steak. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to unwrap it. And I'm gonna do some stuff to it. 
Also, I said the Legion sent and stayed watching till I fell asleep. Like, <laughs> sleep like twenty minutes later. Alrighty. A nice, basically one pound sirloin from a uh, from a local whole animal butcher. Oh man, that looks so nice. So, I am not going to do much to this. I'm just going to poke it a little bit. And all you really need, salt and pepper. Just rub that in nice and, nice and good. This was a very good idea. And I'm just going to set this on that plate right there until I'm ready for it. Also, I probably should have washed my hands. I washed my hands before the stream started. Let's just do that again. Because hand washing is always a good practice. Hey look, my oven is singing to me. baking sheet because these potatoes are actually kind of small there we go and we don't want to see you dry run your meat dry rub oh well get bent <laughs> Alrighty. Timer. Let's. Where is interact? Let's go full screen. Let's go edit. Let's put it down to 40 minutes for caters. Start. Alrighty, let's get some onions going. Just getting the uh, not good layer off the top. There we go. Alrighty, uh, let me get a little bowl. And we're gonna chippy chop some onions. Oh, this is going really nice. Yeah, maybe could have gone nicer. Well, let's not do that. Don't want to stop the stream with a, hey guys, I got to go to the urgent care. Uh, have you ever tried chewing gum to counteract the uh, onion causing eye sweat? I've been told that works. I've done it a little bit. Uh, potatoes shouldn't exist because we look at it in, in, until centuries after the time period the setting was based on. Okay, get bent. Hobbits, uh, hobbits found potatoes. All right. Let me eat my taters, precious. With a brace of conies.
Um, the, uh, Diggy, uh, do you know that there's a uh, Lotor magic set coming out soon? Wild cannabis grown in the mountains of Himalaya or something. Alrighty. Put all of these in here. No explanation. Hobbits invented time travel. Yep. Like, don't, uh, 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 aren't like, the ships that the elves used to leave Middle Earth, aren't those like spaceships or something? Or is this like, they travel between the, the planes or something? Because like, Numenor or what was has been like so divorced from uh, normal time or something like that. We need the uh, we need the Beeple's residence uh, um, Lotor man in here. Alrighty, so let's do some of this. Yes, I did. Uh, two online people get butt hurt because they're as a black man. I'm like, okay, it's whatever. Do I wish it was closer to the uh, to the books or the movies? I mean. Yeah, but it's like, it's fine, you know? So I'm going to use some of my uh, Kerrygold butter because what other use am I going to use for it? Because he's famously an older race of men and are from far away from where the story is set. I mean, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And I can understand why they did it, uh, inclusivity and all of that. And if there was ever a, um, if there was ever a character that they could turn black and not, like, butt hurt so many people, it'd be Aragorn. Because, like, you turn... Can you imagine if they turned Legolas black? Or Gandalf? Oh, Lord. Oh, the internet would be, um, would be, uh, very upset. If they depicted him as Slavic, it'd just be as wrong, but you would know for a fact that people wouldn't have minded so much, right? Alrighty. Let's get my. Let's get this going. Set it to 400. Get it started for when I need it. Just doing a little bit of, uh, butter and oil just to um, get stuff started, you know? We're having fun here. Let me, uh, let me text my friend really quick. Tell him I am cooking up a steak. And now there is that weird um, sound that that Cuisinart is making. Elrond, more of a racist for than wanting his daughter to marry him, but he's an asshole who you cannot uh, reasonably blame the whole mess on, so fuck him. 
Well, he did try to get uh, Elendil to uh, to toss the ring, so there's that. Camera shots of all of this. I love how we're talking about magic while I'm cooking. Magic and uh, Lotor. Shows what kind of nerds we are. Onions in. Yeah, yeah, he could have fucking pushed, uh, what's his fuck into the lava, couldn't he? What am I. I'm looking for this. This is what I'm looking for. But no, he let Alinda walk and then he tried to claim the moral high ground off of it and judge an entire species on the actions of one guy. <laughs> I mean, if only there was a uh, there there was some sort of parallel for that, you know, in real life. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, pinch of salt. So, while my grill is heating up, and while these onions are cooking, we are going to prepare my salad. Because I decided to do salad today. Come on. I have too many things here. I'm just going to occasionally move these about. So I'm going to take this uh, leftover lettuce. I'm just going to straight up cut the bottom off. Going to Give it just like rough shot for like that. Rough shop like that. Another rough shop, another rough shop. And toss it into my bowl. This was before the other two came out. Like, I once watched the extended cut uh, time, three times in one day. Jesus Christ. You have a lot of time on your hands. Let's, uh... This will be good. Perhaps not. Yeah, I remember the no internet days. Perhaps 
Perhaps we could have cut those up better. But I'm just doing like a little rough salad just to get some veggies going in me. Oh, these onions are... That butter is really sweet. Oh, these are going to be very nice. Yeah! And now I'm crying. I assume those are carrots, but with uh, me having to watch this at 160 to get a stable connection, they might as well be uh, Cheetos. Yes, I return with a question. Good Doctor Who. If you were to feed a group of hungry mercenaries, say 200 or so personnel, and you had the funds, what would you stick in their uh, garrison food? Garrison rations are essentially frozen foods that are then made into meals if I call Rip Diggy Man. Um, all right, let's say something frozen that comes up or, or that reheats pretty well um hmm the only thing I can think of is um is uh is like pastas um or or or, or uh or, I, I'm not really familiar with uh, with the uh, with, with with cooking for that many people and or the um, the concept of garrison foods. I got cherry tomatoes right here that I'm just cutting in half. Um, it have to be, uh, uh, something frozen that keeps. It probably be a pasta, at least the sauce. Because the pasta can, um, the, the pasta can, uh, be cooked separately. Stews, yes. Stews are, stews are fairly, uh, fairly keepable. Um, it'd either be some sort of pasta thing because the pasta can, uh, because the sauce can be prepped and uh, kept, and then the pasta is just cooked on demand. And it's like, pasta, it's just dry pasta, you know? Just keep it in a sealed container and it'll be, it'll be all right. That is a bad tomato. Just enough tomatoes. Let's cut up a couple more. From the time I wrote that to the time it appeared on the screen was 15 seconds. You uh, have a delay. Perhaps you should get that checked out. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, easy freezer meals, uh, got you. Uh, beef tips and gravy also, yes! Yeah, beef tips. Like, uh, like, just... Pasta... Stew... Um... Gravies, stuff like that. That is, um... Of course I'd use, like, good shit. But, uh, you'd have to do, you'd have to, you, you just have to deal with it. Got some Italian dressing. Da 
entonces Is this a squeeze bottle or did it just not have a, uh, whatever. There we go. If ever you guys want, and perhaps I'm going to do this next week, um, I'm going to marinate, uh, um, you can marinate uh, chicken breasts in Italian dressing, put a little uh, oregano, basil, and shenanigans in there, and they cook up really nice. They cook up really, really nice. A little lemon pepper, mwah. Alrighty. How do I toss this? With a spoon, uh, with a uh, thing, of course. Actually, I'm gonna do something funny. Come over here. This one. And grab the lid for this bowl. Just make sure it's on there very nice. And just shake it up. Alrighty, so some examples of garrison foods are the following. Fruits and vegetables with five portions per day. Bread, rice, potatoes, pasta, meats, fish, egg. Uh, da, 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 da. Drinks high in fat and sugar and water. I mean, that's basically just food there, Grimos. Like... I've also gotten some croutons, but I like that salad. I like the look of that salad. All right. board. There's a scene in what? Apocalypse Now where a saucier chef is being shown how the army cooks meat and they just boil grade A beef until it's blue. this up. Let's get a bit of butter. Bit more butter. Steak. There we go. Going to cook that for roughly three, four minutes each side. Get it uh, nice and uh, medium, uh, medium rare. I hope.
All right, I missed some chat. The point is that meals are prepared more or less fresh in a base kitchen and then they are served in the mess or packed for use by the field kitchen. Oldest example I can find is old Joe Pusha Laws. One pound beef, third pound pork, one pound fish, one pound bread per day, three pints peas, beans, blah, 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 food on the part of my mind. How's the Ox? Is the Ox a mercenary company now? Did I just not get the memo? Yes. Oh, these onions are cooking up quite nicely. This is a really nice cut of sirloin, too. I'm really excited for it. Here, guys. Steak ASMR. That, that is cooking up quite nicely. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, man. I am very happy with the decisions that I made today. It is approaching time to flip it over. Vigorous sizzle. onions are coming along just perfectly and now it is time for the flip oh Christ oh Christ almighty oh Christ this is a religious experience right now Shush you, Grimos is the, uh, is the master of the quotes. Don't tell him what to do. So about when that timer reaches 10, the steak should be good. I may turn it around to get some cross, uh, some cross marks on it. But uh, that's probably all I'm going to do to it. Like 30 seconds each side, get some cross marks. Going to get this little pat of butter right there ready. Let's add some pork to that, to the glaze. Oh yes, I am very happy with all the decisions I have made today. thinking about but you are the lord of the quotes um so uh therefore that is what happened look at these look at these these are so good Yes. 
Oh, yes. Doctor Who is a very happy person. Cook 50. Why are you here? I am here to cook food and be silly. And I'm all out of silly. Let it sit there as a trap for Night Owl. <laughs> I am all out of silly. Quote correctly, man. <laughs> Although, the other statement is true. I quoted myself. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's, uh, ooh. Alright, let's flip this. About 30 seconds right there. Mm. <laughs> Quote edit. Alrighty. That's a thing. Alright. These onions are good. Let's put them in the bowl for onions. Flip this. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I am very happy with all of the decisions I have made today. the decisions I have made today. And how does it look? Perhaps a little too. here. I'm going to move this right here. I'm going to put a pat of butter on there. A little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to cover it with foil. And we're going to let it rest until the potatoes are done. going to be good. I don't want anybody else when I think about you, I quote 40. <laughs> Hello, Wacker! Hello, Samurai! You guys have missed most of the cooking. I've gotten everything done pretty quickly this is not the uh this is the salad i have steak
perhaps I need to set up a uh, spinner. Let's take off the, did I already take off the mac and cheese? No, I did not. There we go. Um, perhaps I may, uh, I, I may make one decision. Um, is the best boy around or is he off with dad? I mean, I think the best boy is in his room with dad. Um, I'm not going to disturb them. I think they're taking a nap. I mean, steak is kosher, right? I don't think I've cooked with any pork. Um, anyway, let's get some salad ready. Perhaps I added a bit too much carrots. Oh well. They're, uh, they're not carrots, they're orange croutons. Describe uh, what you did to the steak and potatoes. All right, I will describe what I did to the steak and potatoes. I'm baking the potatoes, wrapped them in foil, put them in the oven, 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Steak is a sirloin. I didn't do anything to it. I poked a couple of holes in it. And then I put some salt and pepper on it cooked up some butter on the uh, on the grill um, cooked it about four minutes each side gets it to about uh, medium medium rare which I am very excited to know the golden potatoes that I have left over frying it with butter not so much butter is... Butter's kosher, isn't it? I don't know kosher. Um, and now the steak is sitting here for its uh, grand reveal. Um, but I have prepared perhaps a poor decision after this. Says you can't combine meat and dairy in the same. Oh, oh, interesting. That's a that's a rule I didn't know about. Uh, don't invite me to your bar mitzvahs. I mean, I'm sure I'll eat everything just fine, but don't ask me to cook. Two minutes. Oh, I am so excited. Uh, we were working at a job site and just getting here. Uh, what you cooking? I made steak and potatoes. Um, the steak is resting. Uh, a perfect uh, medium rare. Um, but dad. What if someone wants their steak cooked well done? Then we ask them politely, yet firmly, to leave. How cook steak? On Cuisinart, uh, with a little bit of butter, grilled up both sides, got some nice marks on it, 
salt and pepper. It's all it needs. Uh, it's resting with a pat of butter and a little bit of garlic on it. A little bit of garlic salt. Uh, the one exception is if the, it's part cheese-based breadish thing like pizza. Huh. Um, I used the steak toaster. Yes, yes, I did use the steak toaster. It cooked it very nicely. And my potatoes are done in a minute. Yes, it is a steak toaster. Mad Ducks, yes, steak toaster. How cook potate? Bake. Bake potate. Uh, they have 45 seconds left. Um, just wrap them in foil, toss them in the oven, bing, bing, bada, boom, everything's good. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off because it is almost done. Um, timer is good soon. Um, and then a salad with orange croutons. They're carrots. Oh, and uh, caramelized onions. So I, that's the point, Whacker. It's a cooking stream. Alrighty, potate done. Let's grab potate. All right, chat, uh, random number time, one, two, or three. Three. There we go. All right. Ooh, that is a very good potato. Nice and steamy. Let's get this butter back out. Why did I put the butter away? Do I have sour cream? I don't have sour cream. Do I have French onion dip? No, I don't have French onion dip. That's fine. Ooh, that is a good potato. And, you guys ready? You guys ready? Ready? Oh, that is, that is a beautiful steak. This isn't cooked as uh, through as I would have liked. Or perhaps uh, golden potatoes just don't do the uh, fluffy. I'm tossing these back in for a little bit. Mildly disappointed, but hey, life is an adventure. Let's do. No, let's not do that long. There we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's check out this steak though. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, that is perfect medium. Oh, look at that. Medium rare. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. 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 Now, perhaps it's because I rested it. I prefer my steaks a little warmer. But, and perhaps I'm more on the rare side of medium rare. But this is a very good, a very well, uh, a well cooked steak. I am very proud of myself. Mmm. this yes 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 now it's soft and mushy so potato ah! get right there get right there let's get a little bit of butter on you Little bit of pepper, pepper on the salad, a little bit of salt, and that'll be just fine. Yes, yes, I just needed to cook the potatoes for a bit longer. That's all it was. All right, let's try some of these onions. I need to invent a teleporter. Um, Rare is good so long as you don't have to fight or get sick from uh, from it. Yes. Oh, those are so good. I need to take a picture of this. Ow. Did I cut myself? No, I just touched myself. Camera. Oh, yes. In paper towels, times to dampen microwave for eight minutes. Okay, I will do that next time. Let's try the steak with some of these onions. Okay, so normally I would have liked it cooked a little bit more. That's kind of how I like it done at like Longhorn and stuff like that. But no, this is very good. Okay. You know, I could always cook it up a little bit more, but I'm enjoying it. Mmm. Oh, 
Okay. Very, very, very sweet. Onion cooked very sweet. Butter, very sweet. Port wine, very sweet. Um, goes really good with this steak. A really kind of sweet and savory thing. Um, yellow. It's the onion I had on hand. Let's cleanse the palate with a little salad. Mm. I literally just bought the cheapest Italian dressing and using quite literally leftover vegetables. This is a very good, uh, very good, um, salad. Just a moment. Ah. Um, specifically Kerrygold butter. A little bit of salt, and I used some uh, port wine to uh, deglaze. Um, potato. Mm. Yes, good baked potato, especially in the juice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, wedge salad, that's what, take the, uh, take the wedge of romaine, grill it, drizzle it on. Uh, sourdough can be very good. I don't know if I want to take on the uh, responsibility of creating a mother, but I am kind of interested in making sourdough. Need to chew a bit more. Very good steak. Oh my. I think I have outdone myself. You know what would help with the uh, with the biting thing? Perhaps smaller bites. I am very happy. This was a good twenty dollar steak. Fry some bacon, dice it, quarter a chilled head of iceberg lettuce. Drizzle the wedges with blue cheese dressing, sprinkle with diced bacon and blue cheese. Okay, yes. Canopus cat, yes. I have, uh, I have steak and potato. Canopus cat, were you around last night in the art stream for the, uh, for the joke about Canopus cat girls? Thank you for the sub, Night Owl, on your 1,700th gifted sub. Put on your pants. Put on your pants, cat girl. Here, <laughs> get up this cat. Oh. 
All right. So the joke was, what do you call a Canopus cat girl in the uh, Kyrian army piloting a Hachimoto Chi who also works in an Italian restaurant? A samurai pizza cat. Oh, hey! Guess who's here? Watson! 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 Here's the boy! Here's the boy! And he's wiggling. He's gotta go outside. <laughs> Yes, lots of fun was had last stream. You don't senpai the enemy commander. Shut up, Baka. <laughs> Taco looks at steak. Notice me. <laughs> it was, uh,. It was very fun. He's just that fast. He's just that fast. Um, Night Owl, I think uh, I think the quotes broke. All right, Watson. Get out of the kitchen. You're all over me. Come on, babies. I want to point out that I was not the strange one last night. No, no. Mad Ducks was the voice of reason. What about the Capone? What about Caponis? That's mandatory. <laughs> well, get used to it sometimes, man. Welcome to the BPL. Silliness ensues. Hmm. Okay. I am very much enjoying this. It's a very good steak. Get used to it. Sometimes in a room of crazy people, you're the same one. Mm. Now this is a very good steak. I am going to buy more steaks from this butcher and cook them regularly because this is a very good steak. Um, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything. I, I, I really don't want to toot my own horn or anything. Um, but... I've had a number of steaks. I've had no, I've had steaks at Longhorn. I've had steaks at Ruth's Chris. I've had steaks all over the place. I think I just cooked my favorite steak I ever cooked. Salt, pepper, Kerrygold butter. Millions, Chuck I, I will, uh, I will do it. Uh, ducks, um, 
if you have the time, would you like to join me and tell the people about the time you smuggled sausage across the Texas state line? It's a very good story. Can't join voice chat at the moment. Um, one of the ox rolls. <laughs> um, so, uh, this was when, uh, don't worry about it. So, this was at the meetup last year, and I had convinced Duck to come. Took, like, his first vacation ever in a long while. He managed to carve out, like, two, three days and came down with us and had a very, um, a very good time. I said, hey, I would like to cook something, maybe some gumbo. And he and Mr. Duck said, I am from Cajun land and I will bring you Cajun gifts. Do you want sausage? And I said, yes, I would love some andouille sausage or perhaps. Or, or, and he said, do not uh, do not fret yourself with this andouille sausage. Oh, no, 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 no. Real Cajuns use green onion sausage. So Mr. Ducks was kind enough. Mr. and Mrs. Ducks were so kind enough as to procure some green onion and some andouille sausage, such as they use for their own gumbo and jambalaya. And it is all very tasty. Mr. Ducks then, uh, then is like, okay, now comes the, what, 10 hour drive to location redacted? Ducks. about 10 hours and what it was about Houston or something like that that you got stopped what happened when you got stopped there mr. ducks please tell the class please tell the class what the uh, what the nice police officer uh, Asked you while I eat my steak. Driving to location redacted and a state trooper pulled me over. While searching my vehicle, he found uh, my sausage um, in, a, uh, in a cooler, mind you. He had it in a cooler. The uh, police officer asked, uh, uh, said, can I see it? And Mr. Ducks replied, do you want to see my sausage? The police officer replied, yes. And I, and then I replied, Mr. Ducks replied, do, do I have to pull it out? <laughs> Mr. Ducks, perhaps the only man in the entire OX and BPL to get away with asking a uniformed police officer if he needs to pull out his sausage for the officer to look at. <laughs> this officer apparently got also very confused over the concept of gumbo. Did he not, Mr. Ducks? Hello, Mr. Ducks. Let me, uh, let me put desktop audio on. Say hello to the people, Mr. Ducks. Hello to the people, Mr. Ducks. No, wait, that's not the line. Can everyone I'm, hear I'm Mr. Out in Ducks? The... I don't actually know if they can hear me. 
This was one of the best stories that came out of the meetup. Um, that we needed better stories then because, uh, listen, uh, like he asked me the question, do you have any drugs? No, I don't have any drugs. Do you have any marijuana? No, that's a drug. I don't have any drugs. Therefore, I know marijuana. Do you have any cocaine? No, I have no angry baby powder. Do you have any of this? Do I look like a man on meth? <laughs> and I've been driving so long, my face is falling off. And he says, okay, well, would you mind consenting to a search of your vehicle? And I really want to go. So, yes, you know what? I'll open the door for you. you. You're going a little bit robot all there. Of your... Let's go. Oh, sorry. I am further out than I thought I was. Um, Hopefully you can still hear me well enough. You're good now. But, yeah, he says, do you – he says, uh, yes, can uh, can I see your sausage? And I said, do I have to pull it out? He says, no, I'll do it. And then he he did, and he looked at it. He says, what's this? I said, this is my, my sausage. Then he sees the andouille, and he says, what's this? I says, that's also my sausage. And uh, and then he's confused by the jars of roux, because I guess he was thinking it was something else. And I said, no, that's roux. That is a base for, you know, making gumbo. And then he says, oh, I think I've had gumbo once, and I admit, I kind of switched over to dad mode, and I started saying, son, you are working way too much. Here, take a jar of roux. You need to go look up a recipe for gumbo, invite some friends over, take a day off. Remember, downtime is a very important part of uptime. Go play games with friends. Have gumbo. Be a nerd. It's okay. And Wacker, he did it. I don't want to answer that question, Wacker. So... <laughs> That DJ Styles is my coworker. That's over there giggling like a freaking lunatic. He did. Wacker said he did. He touched your sausage. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving out a lot of details for reasons, uh, but yes, yes, there was there was an inspection of my sausage. When and then he sees. When yeah. he was telling us this story, Mr. Tex was in the room. And I don't think I've seen Mr. Tex laugh harder. <laughs> uh, it, it but was we more, did it, eat... It was more a light chuckle, but that's a lot from Tex. <laughs> we did eat all of the evidence, which was good, because I had to smuggle the sausage uh, past state patrol. So, well, yes, it's a good thing we ate all of the evidence of illegally smuggled <laughs> sausage. Anyway, um... Uh, I'm not sure if that's a high point or a low point. I'm not really. Show us on the gumbo where the. <laughs> Damn it, Wacker! Look what I said. You're no better! <laughs> Why am I the voice of reason today? What has gone wrong with my life? It's opposite day. I'm not used to this. Anyway, and yes. Dear, dear thank Zori. You. <laughs> thank, thank you for... <laughs> My gas is flabbered. Thank you for sharing the story of the, uh, the sausage smuggling. Uh, next year, I'll put the cooler inside an ice chest and then duct tape the ice chest shut and hide it in the back of my trunk just for laughs. Lord says, I am the voice of reasoning today. What has gone wrong with my life? It Ducks. is a quote. Thank it you. Thank Any you. Quote. Any quotes? <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for supporting WBPL76. Why are you here? Have a good day. I've just a more work to do. Thanks. Peace out. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Ducks and Mr. Uh, Mr. DJ Styles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that was uh... no. What came out of that? Uh, no, I blame me for all of it too. 
Um, what came out of this was perhaps one of the best compliments a man has ever given me. Um, when I made the gumbo, um, Ducks was, uh, Ducks was there offering, uh, offering taste assistance. And when it finally came time to eating, the man had three bowls of it and then came up to me afterwards and said, you know, Doc, I came here with seasoning and Tabasco sauce. And they're sitting right there on that counter unopened. You made some dime, damn fine gumbo. I said gumbo. You said you can't, I can't, you complimented me on the gumbo. You said you didn't need any Tabasco, which was a very nice thing to say about a northerner cooking gumbo. Let's have some more steak. Are, you guys are still channeling that uwu energy from last night. Like, is there something, is there something in the internet right now that's like catching? The filet made it. The filet was very good. Dr. Hu Wu, what's this? Notices your steak. Perhaps I've made a mistake. All right. I'm going to leave this for just a second. And I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to ask all of you lovely people a question. Hath Owo Jen has uh, taken hold, I see. <laughs> um, I would like to ask all of you lovely people a question. Given that it has only been um, an hour 15, something like that, do you want me to spin the wheel of madness? And see what the fuck we make tonight. Spin the wheel. Things are about to get fucky, guys. Just bear with me. Alrighty, ready? What are we getting? What are we cooking today? What am I gonna regret? Party vegetable chicken flavored soup. You know what? That actually doesn't sound too bad. Uh, now let's see if we can fucking find it. And or open this up. Screw you, Kirk containers. So were you not here for uh, Son of Fiesta Pale? And the story. Um, text threatened me with a good time.
All right. Someone needs to let Tex know that we're cooking, uh, cooking with Zorg today. What was this? It's dishes. All righty. Party. Chicken flavored vegetable soup. Uh, ingredients. White rice. Why does law, why does white rice have six ingredients? Long grain rice, iron phosphate, niacin, uh, thiamine, uh, mono nitrate, and folic acid. There's lentils, elbow macaroni, uh, carrots, celery slices, chicken soup base, Corn syrup solids. Yummy. Uh, salt, cornstarch, hydro hydrolyzed corn, and soy protein. Rendered chicken fat. Mwah. Uh, okay, let me uh, ping in general then. Okay, render chicken fret, sugar, onion powder, disodium, uh, enosinate, and disodium guanolate. Spices, ooh. Turmeric, dehydrated parsley, and silicone dioxide to prevent caking. Um, Non-iodized salt. Onions, sugar, yeast, whey, turmeric, garlic powder, caramel color. Contains milk, soy, and wheat. I'm not going to ruin my good pan for this. of water. I am actually doing 10 cups of water because this is soup and I need to have about the right amount of uh, liquid. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, That product in your hand is only legally food. Let's get that boiling. And let's, uh, let's brace ourselves with uh, healthy food. It's kind of like eating the whole large pizza, but I want a Diet Coke. And they went with non-iodized salt. <laughs> Ah. 
No, we're having fun here. No, if this turns out to be halfway edible, I'd actually be really surprised. It is the son of Fiesta Pale. Thank you, Mr. Ducks. No. No, sir, sir, sir. I don't think you ingredient. Uh, I, I don't think you realize, uh, Chamel. It's not chicken flavored. It's chicken flavored. Chicken flavor. That hyphen makes it one word and significantly less appetizing. There's rendered chicken fat in there. Back when Lipton was still legally allowed to call their dehydrated soup chicken noodle soup instead of chicken flavored. That being said, that noodle soup is actually really good. Legally, ch le legally chicken components, yes. Hmm. Look, we're here to have a good time, not a long time. He says actively eating a very healthy he healthy salad. It's my go-to when I'm feeling unwell or just want a light meal, right? So right now they waved a live chicken over it and now claim chicken flavor. Yes. Chicken was involved near the product being made. It was consulted. No, right? Like, like it. It is a. It is a good. A good soup thing. It's very tasty. Lacroix just kind of looks at a. Uh, Looks at a fruit. Eight servings. Eight servings. Am I gonna make it all? Yes, yes I am. Oh, for anyone wondering about that mac and cheese. I spent so long deciding about what to do. I opened it up, I looked at it, and I'm just like, I'm throwing you out. That mac and cheese was very sad. It needed a mercy killing. Cream cheese instead of butter. Hmm. 
You know what? You know what, Mr. S uh, 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 Sukel? Or Miss Sukel? Person Sukel? They Sukel? You know what, Sukel? I think you've just inspired uh, another uh, another theme night. Perhaps I'm going to do a Doc's Tired night where I do Hamburger Helper and Mac and Cheese. Mm. That actually sounds really good. Let's uh, let's cushion the blow with a bit more steak. Honestly, not the worst I've seen. I took a cooking class back when high school still had those and got past a baggie of minestrone paste. I was to make for the class and it uh, smelled god awful. I tossed it in the trash in front of the teacher, then made my grandmother's recipe from scratch. Bravo! You know, I'm starting to wonder if driving a scissor lift around a church with a can of spray paint touching up cracked paint overhead where no one could reach is an abnormal way to spend an afternoon. But hey, we get paid. Uh, my go-to with mac and cheese is to use garlic powder, but you can't do it with cream cheese as it's too rich already. Says who? Okay, so the onions have started to dissolve into like this nice mushy paste and kind of fill into all of the nice little cracks on top of the steak. All of that lovely onion juice is moving all through the steak. Oh, oh. This is the best steak I've ever eaten. Got a failing grade, but everybody loved the soup. <laughs> Remember, the reason you eat pale food is to atone for the sin of making it. No, to atone from the sin is, that makes sense. That makes grammatical sense. I'm starting to get a headache. Perhaps I should, did I take my blood pressure medication? I'm going to go take my blood pressure medication. So if I fall over, it's either because my blood pressure uh, bottoms out or uh, the soup kills me. Either way, contact Tex. He knows, uh, he knows where I live. Um, chorizo from scratch in cooking class in high school for jalapeno poppers. I managed to bribe my next period teacher. Not give me a tardy by giving him a plate. Um, it, it, no, I take it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's once a day and I usually take it right about noon. Um, the reason I take it right about noon is because that was when I, I got out of the doctors, I went to the pharmacy, I picked it up and look, it's 1230. Wow. Yes, Agua, I am making horror meal. 
after making and devouring probably the best steak I've ever eaten. Local butcher had a sirloin. I bought it and I made it I, I made it uh, made it very good. Oh, it tastes so good. You know what I'm learning from today? I'm learning that I should probably make longer, more involved recipes. To keep the son of Fiesta Pale away. Because the only reason why I thought to, uh... The only reason why I thought to do this was because it only took an hour to cook this steak and all the fixings. Oh, speaking of fixings. Very baked potatoes. Um, yes, you are apparently very, very, really late. Uh, pumpkin, the only thing that went wrong today was... My potatoes were a little mushy in a couple of spaces, and I took them out of the oven a little too early. I made a very, very, very nice uh, medium rare steak. Um, made some uh, very nice uh, caramelized onions, a very nice salad, which was just leftover vegetables and some Italian dressing. And now I am making chicken, hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup. Because it only took me an hour and 15 minutes to make that shit. Yes, you have arrived in time for the curse. I just took, uh, I, I may or may not have just taken a second dose of blood pressure medication. So, uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, question for, uh, chat for about Twitch rules and all that. There was some, uh, uh there was some talk yesterday about not having, uh, uh, Cookie was talking about not having alcohol on the, uh, on stream. Am I not allowed to drink? Because I won't drink if I'm not allowed. Only inspired by chicken food. Just don't share any documents, drink responsibly. Okay, I can do that. brew today saw this in the uh, grocery store now this might might give a general area of uh, location redacted drinking is fine getting drunk is not no commands to drink okay that's the difference I see hail hydrate being used for boost yes yes which is why it's a um, which is why water break cannot be a um, it cannot be a booze uh, break. Um, okay, so water is boiling. Very nice. This might be a little bit of uh, narrowing down where location redacted is for me, but this is a local brew by a local uh, microbrew or craft brewery. I saw it and I'm just like, hey, that looks good. I like lager. I am not gonna drink a four loco. 
I sell those at work. I am not going to drink one. That's just a mistake in a can. Poor Loco is just a mistake in a can. Perhaps I should have poured that down the side a bit more. First time I'm trying it. Uh, you're getting so many good quotes today, Grimos. So like most loggers, it doesn't keep a good, uh, doesn't keep a head very well, but I mean, it's nice and bubbly. It smells very crisp and refreshing. Okay, that is very good. It's very, uh, it, 4.8. So not, I, I got chives and I didn't put them on the potato. I'm upset with myself. But no, it's, it's very good. It's not offensive. It's just, uh, it's just a nice light beer. A little bit of, uh, sweet nutty notes. Tell you what though, that uh, that steak juice did wonders for seasoning the potato. All right, is this boiling enough, guys? Fizz or fits? I don't very much care for root beer, completely honestly. Um, I need to send a private message to someone regarding something. Whisper. Oof, excuse me. Ah, boo. There we go. Let's do this. There we go. There. This user has turned block whispers. Okay. Um, that's why. Ah. Whatever. Um, no, I live very close to, uh, Fitzroot beer. For the last time, I'm not going to give you any host give you the hostages. Um, it is very good. Fitz is very good. I just don't like root beer. Scissors right here. doesn't look happy. It doesn't look happy.
<laughs> Flavor dust. Um, no, Angry Pumpkin. To quote one of my favorite movies, uh, would you like a little water with your whiskey? When I drink whiskey, I drink whiskey. When I drink water, I have water. Uh, Mickalene Ogue Finn talking to Mary Kate Danaher as the Shockalorn. Oh, that's the lentils. If this turns out halfway decent, I'd be pleasant. I'd, it'd be pleasant. So I need about 20 minutes before we decide if this was the worst choice. No, I could have ended the stream early and done some more Mass Effect until uh, Stryker's art time. But no, I decided to make a poor life decision. I do not like this decision that I've made today. Dehydrated parsley, everyone. Just kind of... Floating up there on the top. I chose the mass defect. <laughs> I could have ended this on a high note, been like, ooh, yes, steak. Very good. Oh, let's, uh,. Let's go around and uh, adventure around the galaxy and shoot people. Romance strange aliens. But no, I decided to, uh, I decided to do something like content. Do I like baked goods? Yes, I do like bread. I do like bagels. I like, uh, I like cakes. Or is Capital Baked Goods uh, a company? Crumble Cookie. Bakery has amazing cookies. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. That's a very sippable drink. It, it, like, it like It's not overly bitter. It's not overly sweet. It's very good. They've been a staple cookie that I always, uh, that they always have, and then weekly changes to their cookies. Like all the herbs are trying to escape the pot. They know that this is their only chance to get away from, <laughs> get away cleanish. Like, the, the astounding thing to me is the genius behind this decided to put, make it a, a rice and macaroni dish. And I'm just like, why? Why do we have this? Why is Augustin Farms like this? Pumpkin, look.
not only not only is it rice and pasta, but there's also lentils in here. Whoops the fuck thought that this was anything but a terrible mistake. Why are they not being taken behind the shed and shot? I don't know. There's a pot of filth is more powerful than any curse I could lay upon anyone. Wait, everything was raw? Crumby, crumble, but on the box it says crumble cookies. Won't the rice, pasta, and lentils cook at different rates? Yes! Yes! Yes, they will! Congratulations! <clears throat> You're not the one that's going to have to eat it. I'm dreading my life to choice, choices today. It's supposed to rain all weekend. <laughs> Regardless, much concern. From their webpage, they say uh, Jason McGowan and Sawyer Hemsley own it. Who's that pastor gentleman? Jim Baker. I blame him. Doc, by the time you're eating this, it will all be a homogenous chimera of spongy, flavorless disappointment. I don't doubt it. The courts also blamed him when he got in trouble for, ru for running his griffs years ago. He deserves a lot of blame for a lot of things, but that's a topic for a different community. Yes, we are not going to stray into politics nor... Uh, Law and order. We're just going to say that the man made mistakes with making, uh, with uh, backing Augustin Farms. And perhaps Augustin Farms also made a lot of mistakes. And here I am eating them. Ew! It's sticking to the top. The film, the bubbles are sticking to the top rim. Ew! Sorry I bring them up. It's only a because it's a 35-minute drive uh, to the city for them. They're building one three miles away in heaven sent. Perhaps? Perhaps? Text talks. Right, um, Augustin. A-U-G-A. -A Son. So one thing about Jim Baker. That rat bastard was running a grift selling some blo bollocks. Silver solution, which could cure COVID. Yes! Yes, colloidal silver does nothing for you, but turn your body purple. Silver nitrate has some minor antimicrobial poly uh, 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 um, um, properties, I believe. But only take what should be... Um, but only take what should be, uh, what, what is uh, prescribed by your doctors or other such health licensed healthcare professional. Oh yeah, no, no, 100%. Like all of these pa pastors and MLM people that have been selling cures for COVID that have actually gotten people killed should be charged with murder. Did they have a guy from Mercury Poison turn purple or something like that? Colloidal silver is a vintage grift. There were people pulling that scam in Y2K, right? Silver nitrate, yeah, topical antiseptic. I used a silver burn cream one time when I burned my arm really bad. That's like the only thing I know silver has been used for medically. Um. Guys, don't ingest metals. Just don't. 
I mean, sodium is a metal. And we have that in salt. Potassium we need. Calcium for our bones. All metals. Iron for blood. But like, no, no. Don't just take a metal because. Right? Like, our body is a blend of organic and inorganic compounds that comes together to form comes to form a uh, a humanoid mecha that is piloted by a squishy meat brain. When in doubt, trust licensed doctors. If you disagree with them, go get another opinion from another licensed doctor. They paid a lot of money to learn how to fix your problems. Karen on Facebook just watched a YouTube conspiracy video. Vidi vidi vidi. Mercury makes you crazy. The cliche Mad Hatter is from mercury poisoning because they used it to shine hats back in the day. Yep. Uh, that's silver sulfadazine, and it's proven to stop bacteria from growing. It gets prescribed as a topical cream all the time. Yep. Topical. That means on top of the skin, not in the mouth. Um, see, the way I never got COVID was simple. Live in the middle of nowhere and don't talk to any one person, if at all possible. Yep. How long has this been cooking? He asks concernedly. Not long enough. Let's call it another 10 minutes. Do not use it as a suppository. <laughs> ah, I love when we get into medical advice and conspiracy theory and it's always just, hey, listen to the people who spent a lot of money learning what the right thing is. <laughs> I think I got COVID three times. Uh, my mom was an election judge in, back in March 2020. And we think that she got it. And then I got it. I spent two weeks in bed sweating through my sheets. It was not fun. Then I got, uh, then I got the, um, like one of the first waves of uh, test vaccines. Um, got the second vaccine. And then I think I caught it again from work. Um, one of the uh, one of the variants. And then last year in July, right before I got promoted to my current position, I had to take like four days off of work because I got another COVID. I think I got Omicron. Uh, oof. And it was uh, like with the uh, with the vaccination. All it, all, all it was, was I was just very, very um, tired and achy. Um, and it didn't get much worse than that. Thankfully. Ooh, kitty, that's not fun. Fuck people like that. Yes, yes, violence to the degree permitted. Was sick for a week, felt bad for another two weeks, was fully recovered after three weeks total, and that was back to scuba after that. Oof. All right, 310. Let's, uh, let's call it after that. See, normally a rumbly little pot like this would make me very happy, but I am very apprehensive. Like, if it was, if it was rice and lentils or mac and lentils, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But uh, when it's all three, I'm just like, eh. Uh, I got COVID from my dad, visit him in person for the first time in years, and he had some random work friend of my uncle's over, 
and his whole family and they were coughing. I was sitting across from the table just thinking, fuck you the entire time. That's kind of the story that makes your HR director schedule an appointment with their therapist. Kitty, tip top. Top tip, before you punch him in the face, ask him what color his socks are. When his mouth goes slack in confusion, smack him in with enough force to dislodge his jaw or break it! <laughs> Gave me COVID from her visit to the hospital. Oof, my reaction was the most civil I could be. I said I quit and walked off. Okay, respectable. My first run with COVID came from a coworker. It cost him his job and the shop shut down for three weeks because there was literally no one to run the place. Oof. We had people at work who got the uh, first variant, lost sense of taste for almost a year. One didn't really recover taste at all. So he would be the perfect subject for this dish. For legal reasons, that is a joke. Ah. <sighs> Someone pinged me on my Discord. That are, good, that are a good need of the bollocks. <laughs> For legal reasons, that is a joke. Uh, excuse me. Um, just fuck you, I'm done, don't respect me, fine, you don't get a week, two weeks notice. Though to be fair, that advice, that was advice I've given to many women relating to self-defense. Maximum allowable damage in one hit and then run. Uh, I don't think... I don't have much for smell, and it's been a year and a half. However, the military counts that as a disability, so silver lining. <laughs> that are a good need of the bollocks. Uh, two weeks notice is a courtesy. They fire you without notice. You can quit without notice. Doubly so if someone is just being a prat. Uh, we can't condone committing assault or other illegal activities, even if someone really, really deserves it. Yep. Uh, the best way to give two weeks notice is after you've asked for two weeks holiday. Because fuck them. Hey guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, do these vegetables look like the vegetables from cup noodles? Like those little styrofoam packages of ramen? That take three minutes to cook? That worries me. I feel like the hearty from this dish is going to come from the fact that it's so fucking packed of carbohydrates. Not the fact that it has anything of substance in it, it's just full of fucking carbs. I am very worried. If it's squishy, is done. I'm gonna give it a little bit. Uh, Kravas and Krav Maga, the martial art. Where's the fucking thing? I will say I found him in my craft school. Guess who I got paired with to teach? Nice. Pop. 
pasta. Please tell me that during training you were very hands-on and told instructors to give him a to get him booted. Spent a lot of time on the mat. <laughs> I have issues with the idea of that bastard like that knowing how to hurt people effectively. Me too. Hmm. Walked out and never came back, but man, did it feel good. See, that's how you get revenge against bullies. And I'm just sitting here watching a pot boil. In that case, I give you a hearty high five and raise my glass to you. Uh, so the stream title says steak and potatoes. I'm very confused with this pot of stuff. Learn, thud. Learn, thud. Doc, you are sitting there watching an abomination. Yes, yes I am. I feel like Dr. Frankenstein watching a horror come to life, except uh, instead of being very excited that it is alive, I am not. Fuck it. It's so sloppy. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. Hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup from Augustin Farms in the breakfast and dinner variety, bo uh, variety pail. Watch Doctor Who kill himself in one spoonful. Mmm. Yummy. He says sarcastically. Let's clear our palette. Honestly, the worst part about it is the macaroni. Like, it's... It's slightly... Sh it, 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 it's shittier Lipton soup with macaroni instead of noodles. I think the macaroni was a bad... What, what, what was a... Uh, the, uh, the macaroni was not a good idea to add to this. Like, it's, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. It's not slimy, it just doesn't match the rest of the texture. Compared to the mac and cheese, okay. Compare this to the mac and cheese. All right. So, um, if anyone wants to keep a running tally of these, mac and cheese, zero out of 10, absolutely inedible. 
This, uh, um, 10 is grade A Wagyu beef. All right. Cooked on, uh, uh, cooked by a master chef with just salt and pepper. That is, that's what 10 is. Zero is absolutely inedible. What would a five be on this scale? Mom's tired. Five is mom's tired. That's a bit of a logarithmic scale, if you guys get it. But uh, but like, would you guys agree that like, in between absolutely inedible, absolutely inedible, and grade A wagyu beef, five is about mom's tired. Uh, three is cardboard. Yeah, sure, three is cardboard. Um. a 3.5 it'd be a four if there wasn't any macaroni in it two is i'm desperate and i'm there quick doc uh add red pepper flakes and hit saw hot sauce to make it better enough to better enough to throw away max zero um this is about 3.5. It's edible. How does it compare to survival food? All right. You know what? I'm following Chap's advice really quick. And I'm going to spice it up. So, again, I want to reiterate... That this is marketed as survival food. This is something that you can cook if power goes out and society goes to shit. I want to reiterate that this took 10 cups of clean water brought to a boil and cooked for 20 minutes. One of the benefits about MREs and other military rations such as those is that the heating element just requires a little splash of water of non-potable water even to activate the heating element and everything is self-contained this is this took I think way too much way too much water clean drinking water mind you way too much water and took way too much energy to be a reasonable survival food now if there was a box of this in the pantry and I was a hungry teenager and mom and dad were off on a trip or something, and I have to fend for myself. There's a lot worse things that I could make. Ah! Steak tucked in, steak bit tuck, stuck in my teeth. Huh. Still tasty. Um, yeah, like, MREs are designed to be water light. I just used, like, five quarts of water for this soup. You could always make ramen with an egg with less water and more flavor. I've done that, and it's really good. Um, I'll take Huel over that, over this stuff any day. Way quicker, less wasteful. I would have tried Huel. If they didn't pop up every other fucking advertisement on my YouTube. Yes, yes. Pumpkin, you brought up a very, very good point. MREs are meals ready to eat. You do not have to heat an MRE. You can eat it cold. That is the point of them. They include the heating elements for the comforts and sensibilities of the troops. But when water is tight 
and or they're in a situation where they can't really heat something up and or wait to heat it up, you can just eat it cold. That's what's really good about a survival food. You can just rip it open out of the package and go to Chowtown. You'd be very sad, but you can go to Chowtown. This, I open up the package and I'm just like, hachu, and it goes everywhere. Um, I'm sure you could buy MREs off of Amazon. Anyway, my, my vote on this is it's not bad. It's edible. Yes, survival food, this is not. The, the, like, absolutely not survival food. You're not, guys. Guys. You're hiking in the woods. You're hiking in the woods. All right, imagine this. You're hiking in the woods with you and your friends. It's, uh, it's getting late. Does it taste better than starving? Yes. It tastes better than starving. Anyway, um, use quality ingredients only. Hey, Mr. Tex! <laughs> uh, the soup is good. The soup is good. On a scale of zero, absolutely inedible, to 10 grade A, grade A Wagyu beef, with five being mom's tired, this is about a 3.5. Um, anyway, my story. You and your friends are hiking in the woods. You guys find a good spot to camp up for tonight. You guys are exhausted. And, uh, and you guys, all right, what are we gonna eat? I don't know. Let's check the pail. You are not going to go fucking hiking with this. And if you, even if you did, you're not going to fucking hike with 20 goddamn cups of water. No, no, you're going to have to hike with like an entire box of this water. Do you, know, do you guys know how fucking heavy water is? One liter is one kilogram, right? Like, this is not survival food. This is not exploration food. This is a scam. <laughs> no, it's like, like, yeah, entirely way too much water. Like, this is not a survival end-of-the-world food. This is... This is a gimmick. It's not good. They, <laughs> these are sold commonly through a crazy preacher on TV. Yep. I also thought sold COVID cures by like eating silver. No, yeah, we talked about that, Mr. Tex. Um, Jim Baker, absolute fucking mad lad. Like, absolute rat bastard. Um, you know what would make for a good survival food? Chocolate. Tasty and with enough... Yes! 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 Like, sealed chocolate. Like, enough carbs and sugar to get you through bursts of a extremely exquisite energy. And it's like, if you need, you, you need a pick me up, break off a couple of bars of chocolate. Um, <laughs> Jim Baker. Yep. The world is ending on Tuesday. Pay me money to survive sort of thing. Yep. 
Um, but yeah, Tex, like, the, the, the only problem I have with this soup, it's not the fucking cup noodle, uh, it's not the cup noodle, um, uh, carrots. It's the fact that it's rice and macaroni in one dish. I could do without the macaroni. He says, shoveling another spoonful into his mouth. No, yeah, no, yeah. It was just straight boil it for 20 minutes. Trail mix. That's what it's called, Agua. Trail mix. I saw I saw chocolate, raisins, peanuts, and I was like trail mix. Uh, little nuggets of granola, yeah. Like like trail mix, just like a mix of everything you need. Throw in a little bit of salt, boom. That's great. That's great energy right there. Grow them in fuck all soil. Ferment them into alcohol. Distill them further into fuel. Right? No, no. Taters, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Like, all that stuff. I think if you ate this in a survival situation, you'd fart one long painful fart and die. <laughs> um, and then you'd die of dehydration because you spent all of your water cooking god-awful soup. He says, eating another spoonful. How to take everyone with you kind of fart. <laughs> you know in RimWorld where it says uh, medical emergency and someone falls down? That's, wh that's what's about to happen if you keep eating that. <laughs> it's not bad, Tex. Like, I'm not upset with it. <laughs> like, it's... It is the definition of Okay, fine. Cannibals hunting Fiesta Pale Buyers. I smell like powder. I smell the powder and I hear the farts on the wind. We're close. <laughs> Oof. From world is special potatoes that grow in toxic waste and special rats that like to live there so you can have toxic wasteland of scavenger mans who herd rats and eat potatoes. Just above card... Yes, yes. Agua, just above cardboard and I'm hungry. I think we agreed that like three was cardboard. So uh, running towel, mac and cheese, absolute trash. Uh, soup, you could do worse. And then earlier, steak, very good. I'm still running on the high of that steak. Very good steak. Alrighty, uh, what time is it? 3.30. Um, all right, let's say you guys, um, I wind up the, uh, the cooking here and then convert into uh, Mass Effect because I want to play Mass Effect until uh, Stryker does his art show. All right, two hours? Hell yeah. All righty, guys. Um, so for, uh, for everyone on the YouTubes, this is the end of the cooking stream. Uh, this has been Doctor Who's the Chef. I've made probably the best steak I've ever fucking made in my life, ever eaten in my life. Um, definitely doing that again. That was so good. Um, into probably yeah, not the worst soup I've ever had. But here's all you fine folks out there in the Beeple land. Cheers. Have fun out there. Happy cooking.